okay yeah valency so the valency is uh, nothing but that it's a uh, how many number of the electrons present in the valence shell it can able to gain or lose by the atom that we call it as a valency so in a period the valency of the elements increases from uh, 1 to 4 and then decreases from 4 to 0 from the left to right so the period is nothing but we are moving from left to right in the periodic table so from say for example in the third period if you are taking from sodium magnesium aluminum so we are moving from the uh, left side to the end of the right side so that we call it as a period so when we are moving that one so the valency of the elements the first of four elements it increases by four then it will start decreases okay so for example the second period we have taken for the example lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and the neon so an means the atomic number so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so now the electronic configuration is so the 2 comma 1 so the 2 indicates that the first shell so the first shell can occupy the maximum number of the two electrons so out of the three electrons the two electrons we have to place it in the first shell the remaining one electron we have to place it in the second shell so 2 comma 1 so then beryllium is having a four so out of the four electrons the two electrons we have to given the first shell the remaining two electrons will occupy in the second shell uh then uh boron so the boron is having the five electrons so out of the five electrons the two electrons will be placed in the first shell and the three electrons will be placed in the uh second shell carbon six electrons so two electrons first shell four electrons second shell nitrogen seven two electrons first shell and five electrons second shell oxygen eight two electrons first shell six electrons in the second shell fluorine nine two electrons first shell and the seven electrons in the second shell neon it's having a 10 electrons so we are placing two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in the second shell so the maximum occupancy of the electrons in the second shell is eight so that is completed by the neon that is why the neon the whatever the elements which is present in the group uh, eight so that is always unreactive they are inert at the room temperature because so this elements helium neon argon krypton xenon radon so this is present in the group 18 or else we call it as a zero because they don't have the valency at all because they are having completely uh, filled outermost electrons that's why okay so now in this case we are having a okay the valence electrons so the valence electrons is nothing but how many electrons are present in the valence that is the outermost shell electrons that electrons can able to gain or lose so we are not bothered about that how many electrons are present in the inside shell first shell or something like that because that is completely filled that will not come in the picture of the reactions only the outermost electrons the one the two the which is present in the outside that only will start losing or gaining okay so now the first one is the lithium 2 comma 1 the valence electron is only one okay so now what will happen the second shell can able to uh, complete by eight electrons but here there is a only one electron is there for the lithium so what lithium will do is either it has to gain the seven electrons or it has to lose the one electron so the lithium will lose this one electron and it's having the valency one beryllium beryllium is having a two electrons so valence electrons are two so here also the same thing so the beryllium if it wants to complete the second shell it needs six electrons or else it has to lose the two electrons so gaining the six electrons it's very difficult so it will lose the two electrons so the valency of the beryllium is 
then boron boron is having the valence electrons 3 so here also the same thing so if it wants to gain so it needs the 5 electrons if it wants to lose the 3 so the 3 number 3 is very less so it will do the losing the 3 electrons then carbon okay now carbon is in the midway actually because it's having the four electrons in the outermost shell so what it will do if it wants to gain the electrons it has to be four if it wants to lose the electrons it has to be four so the always the valency of the carbon is four nitrogen <coughs> nitrogen is having five electrons so five valence electrons so in this case it wants to fill the outermost electrons by three by gaining three electrons or it has to lose the five so now now in this case so losing electron is higher so five electrons it has to lose or the three electrons it has to gain so it will prefer only the three electrons to gain so three balancey of the nitrogen is three so next one is oxygen Oxygen is having a uh, six electrons in the outermost shell, so valence electron is six. Now here also, if it wants to complete the neon configuration, it needs two electrons to gain, and or else it has to uh, lose six electrons. So that is very tough, losing six electrons. So it will gain the two electrons. So valency of the oxygen is two. Fluorine, it's having a uh, seven electrons in the outermost shell. It needs one electron to complete the outermost shell. So it will gain one electron and the valency of the fluorine is one. Neon is zero because already it's completed its outermost shell by eight because the maximum occupancy of the second shell is eight that it is already completed. So it is unreactive. It does not have any valency. Always it exists as the monoatomic gas. Monoatomic means it exists as the single atom. It does not combine with any other atom or it cannot able to combine with the same atom also. So it exists as the monoatomic gas. So in so now we have completed the period that starts from left to right the periodic table. Next one is group. The group is nothing but so the elements we are moving from top to bottom in the periodic table. So we have taken the example group 1A. So the elements hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium we have taken. So the AN is atomic number. Atomic number of the hydrogen is 1, lithium 3, sodium 11 and potassium 19. So next one is the electronic configuration. So anyway, the one electron is there. It will occupy only in the first shell. Three electrons are there for the lithium. So the first shell can occupy the two electron. The uh, one electron will occupy in the second shell. So sodium 11. So 11 electrons, the two electrons will occupy in the first shell the eight electrons will occupy in the second shell the remaining one electron will occupy in the third shell so now the potassium so the potassium is 19 electrons so second two electrons will occupy in the first shell eight electrons will occupy in the second shell the eight electrons will occupy in the third shell and the remaining one electron will be occupied in the fourth shell so now if you are seeing in the group 1A, so 1 indicates that the outermost electron number is always 1. So that's why we call it as group 1. Okay, so now the valency for all the elements are 1. So if it wants to lose electron means it has to lose only one electron. So that is why the valency is 1. Here also it's losing electron is very easy because gaining seven electrons is difficult so it will lose the one electron so valency is one here also the same thing so a sodium lose the one electron and it forms the Na plus potassium also losing the one electron in the outermost shell and forms the K plus